Hi dear friends, I'm Chef Patsu and I'm gonna show you today how to open this tin with delicious Bulgarian feta cheese. First I'm gonna put here in a sheet pan so we don't gonna make a mess. Second, what we need to do is to clean up at least the top from this tin so when you open it and the liquid from inside is don't go over by the dirt you go again by the delicious cheese it's a feta cheese from Bulgaria is quality is amazing it's good but the tin I don't know so many years the Bulgarians they never can finish the job to make a tin what you can open with a tin and opener no one tin opener can open this I was chef in Munich in Frankfurt and mine, in Washington DC, Sofia, all the chefs who open this tin with feta cheese, it's the only one way, it's with a knife and with a hammer. So, first what you need also, before you start, you need the container where you're gonna put that cheese. So, yeah, that's it. And then we can start. The thing, first thing, I'm gonna make a hole here and a hole here so I can take the liquid here. The liquid need to be safe. So start and one more thing. Never try this at home. Never ever. This is very dangerous. You can hurt yourself very bad. So never try this at home, okay? Never. So, I would say, I'm gonna make the holes on both sides. It's not easy, but... Okay, almost done. Yeah. The one side is dirty. One hole's ready. Now the next one. And I don't use this knife for nothing else. I keep this just for to open the tin. Okay. Now liquid this for sure you need to save otherwise your cheese will be not safe in the refrigerator in our family we this tin of cheese is enough for around month month and a half wheat every day cheese and believe me this is the best Bulgarian feta cheese with the worst tin. Okay. So. So, now when I cut this here, it's create a very sharp edges. This is very sharp. This can cut you very bad. So be careful. I mean, I'm careful, not you. You don't gotta do this, how I say. But it's safe. Don't do this at home. So. Here you go. The delicious cheese. Now, take this out. Here. Second one. Let's 
kind of here two this together eight of them and i need to turn this that way and i'm gonna show you with the small pieces i'm gonna break down what i'm gonna do later right after i open the tent i do this every time one more actually two more one is coming here in that container you see it's perfect there's also paper i usually take this paper and put this here on top so all the cheeses and that liquid inside Good. Now the top on top. Top is close this. And usually everybody have a refrigerator in the basement. We also and this go there. So on the end, after I open the tin with the feta cheese and I put already here and I have one piece of feta cheese for my refrigerator for every day I always finish that way I put a little bit of cheese in a small bowl okay and, and clean up this good and then I have a amazing Actually now, right now when we make the video, is the season of the tomatoes. We go to the farm, pick yourself, and amazing tomatoes. They're sweet, juicy, and then I cut the tomato. Simple dish, but very, very tasty. Bulgarians love tomatoes with feta cheese, most everything. Maybe you can add also a little bit of fire or peppers, but not for the tin. Homemade. Homemade. Okay. Then you have the cheese. You don't need salt for this. That cheese is salt enough for that. Salt. And you put some on top. Amazing. Oh, so, so good and delicious. Okay, and then we have olive oil, of course, extra virgin. A little bit on top, a little bit more. That's good. And I can say the season of the tomatoes. I have also for my garden basil. You don't need to cut this you just pick it over stems away of course we don't want to eat the stems and over the oh god and this is actually the colors of the bulgarian flag white green and red so, and now I can try this delicious tomatoes with feta cheese. Oh. Mm. <laughs> so good. Mm. Mm. 
And this was today everything for me and I say goodbye to you for me and Max, my dog from Australia, mini Australian chap. Bye!